Hello underwater photographers, this is Ran from Mosaic Underwater Cameras again and we are back with day 5 of the Read Dive project. The product, project that we have initiated as an Instagram challenge to encourage uh, the entire diving industry and all underwater photographers worldwide to share some amazing underwater photos, one subject at a time, and every day we have a different daily theme. And as usual, I will be giving you my own personal tips on how to shoot better photos of the daily subject. So in the end, we will take all of these tips and put them in one big ultimate guide to shooting marine life that will be on our blog at Mosaic Underwater Cameras. So today's theme is parrotfish. So let's get started with the tips. All right, so my first tip uh, when shooting parrotfish is to let the parrotfish come to you. So if you try and actually chase or go after the parrotfish, it will most likely feel intimidated and it will probably swim away. Um, even if it knows that you might not be a predator, they still will probably swim away because they prefer to not take the risk. However, if you don't kind of react to them in your area and you play it cool, then they will most likely come to you. Uh, another thing that I've actually found is that they're very sensitive, like a lot of fish, they're very sensitive to eye contact. So if you try to approach them without looking at them directly, and I know this seems a bit weird, but if you try to approach them kind of like, mm -hmm, I'm minding my own business, I'm not doing anything, I'm not shooting you, then a lot of times they will actually get you, let you get much closer because they don't feel that you're interested in them in any way. So definitely try that and this is this picture is one of the friendliest parrotfish I've ever encountered. He actually followed us for an entire dive just swimming right you know right to us and that was incredible so that was very very lucky. So another tip, the second tip is to try and capture some biting action. So we've probably all heard the sound that parrotfish make underwater. They simply go munch munch and they bite on the coral and a pretty well-known fact is that actually parrotfish are in charge of a lot of the sand, the white sand that we love to, you know, sit in uh, on the beach. That's actually parrotfish poop. I'm not sure if all of you knew that, but a lot of it is actually parrotfish poop that has accumulated over the, you know, millions of years where parrotfish actually munch on the coral. They eat the algae off of the coral. And then the, the little pieces of coral actually get processed, digested inside their stomach and come out on the other side as sand, basically. Uh, so yeah, when you see the parrotfish munching on the corals, then try to time your photo precisely to get that nice biting action like the cup cup. And it, you will get a much more dramatic shot when you do capture that. So the third tip is that parrotfish, like many other uh, fish, they actually stay still at night. So they're kind of sleeping with their eyes open and they stay perfectly still. So if you find a parrotfish at night, they will most likely be completely still and kind of look at you like, hey, what are you doing here? Why are you bothering me? And why are you, you know, I'm trying to sleep here? Uh, and that will give you an opportunity to get some really nice close-up shots of them. And if you're very lucky, they also create their own kind of disgusting mucus cocoons at night. So if you dive later at night, not in the beginning, like in the evening where most dive, uh, night dives happen, if you dive later at night, you might be lucky enough to capture a photo of them inside the mucus cocoon that they create from themselves, which is pretty cool. Yeah, disgusting. Uh, and the fourth tip is that the larger the parrotfish, and that's, you know, again, for a lot of different types of marine life, the larger the parrotfish, the closer you'll be able to get to it. Because usually larger fish feel more comfortable and less intimidated by divers. So if you encounter like a, a rainbow parrotfish like this one or a humphead parrotfish, they will most likely let you get pretty close to them. Um, and that's amazing. You know, then you can get a really nice shot of them. This one is actually creating sand as we speak. Uh, as I took the photo, he was creating sand or pooping. Uh, so that's a pretty cool shot. And you, he just didn't mind me at all because he was really, really big and, you know, he didn't feel intimidated by me at all. Right, so that's the tips for today and I will see you again tomorrow on the Read Dive project. Remember to post your own amazing photos. 
uh, on your Instagram. Tag us uh, with three dive project hashtag by underwater cameras UW cameras, which is Mosaic Underwater Cameras Instagram account. And I will see you tomorrow with the next daily subject. Until then, enjoy.